Hey there guys, welcome to Anthony Allen Edits YouTube channel. My name is Anthony Allen and here in this video I'm going to give you one of the biggest things that you can use if you are a Final Cut Pro X editor to amplify your projects and make your videos stand out for free. So it's worth staying tuned in this video because you're about to get yourself some absolutely amazing plugins and presets. <laughs> For a long time now, I've been using various plugins and presets, but I've also learned how to create my own plugins and presets. And although we're not going to touch upon that, we might do on a later date if it's something that you're interested in. So maybe you can sell your own plugins and presets to video editors. Uh, we're actually going to talk about one that I have used for a long time and will amplify your video projects to make them stand out. And the website in which I'm talking about is Pixel Film Studios. Pixar Film Studios is an amazing website where you can find paid and free plugins that you can use for your Final Cut Pro X projects. And, and you can keep them, <laughs> you know, free plugins that will absolutely amplify your videos. So what is a plugin? How does it work? And how can it amplify your videos? So a plugin is basically a, a thing that is being created that plugs into Final Cut Pro X so that you can use either the template of the thing or the motion graphic of the thing or the attributes of whatever is being created. For example, um, a laptop that appears on screen and that plugin or preset can be used in a, a, a re reoccurring manner in all of your videos once you've downloaded and installed the plugin. <clears throat> so not every plugin on this website will work with your operating system and it's always worth reading the installation guidelines to see if your Mac operating system and your Mac device can actually use the plugin within Final Cut Pro. Otherwise, what you'll find is you'll actually be missing controls within the plugin and you won't be able to use it properly, basically. So, for example, if it is an animated phone where you can put your own footage within the animated phone, if you have not got the right specifications on your Mac device, you'll be missing controls within that application that you may have brought but in terms of this video we're talking about the free section and you can find free plugins on Pixar Film Studios. I'm not going to give the link down in the description because it's really easy to find if you just give yourself a Google search of Pixar Film Studios. It's a well worth website to visit. It will absolutely amplify your videos and give you, if you're a Final Cut Pro X editor, that competitive edge that will make your videos stand out and it will also save you time. Although you can create these effects yourself and I have done that for myself, I've created a lot of these effects for myself as well so I can play around with them a lot more and go outside of the parameters of what Pixar Film are offering in terms of some of the free things and, and, and other things that I've seen. Pixar Film Studios is more of a shortcut for some of those effects. So if you don't know how to create an animator phone onto the screen or you don't know how to create a um, equalizer for a video, you can download these presets and pay for them so that you can use those within your video projects. And that can save you a lot of time. And it, they, they aren't all basic as well, guys. A lot of them are more than just LUTs. So there we have it, guys. I have a lot more Final Cut Pro X knowledge to give you for your for, for you editors that are using and love Final Cut as much as I do. And remember that on my channel, guys. Sorry, I just had an itch. On my, on my channel, guys, I'm also teaching you how to use Final Cut Pro X. And don't forget, guys, that I also teach Final Cut Pro X, aka Final Cut Pro 10, here on my YouTube channel. And I'm starting with a 10 part series, and I have just finished part two, which should be coming to my channel very soon. At the time I've been making this video, part two was just about to drop. I'm doing a 10 part series for now, and I would love to see your comments down below if you're a Final Cut Pro user. I'd love to see what you think of those uh, tutorials that I'm creating at the moment. I'm just wanting to give you guys some, some knowledge and give you you know, what I know about the software and so that you can become a Final Cut Pro X genius, you know, and you can unlock your your reserved knowledge 
and you can get that extra bit of knowledge on Final Cut Pro and it's also very very catered towards beginners at the moment as well so if you're a beginner on the software you can learn a heck of a lot and sometimes I might be even giving you some knowledge on how to get rid of a error uh, I've encountered a lot of errors in my time of using Final Cut Pro I've been using it for a long time now and I'll also be teaching you guys how to get rid of errors but at the meantime in the way we are at the moment until you guys are asking for specific things and what you want to learn within Final Cut Pro I will be teaching you uh, uh, in my 10 part series of how to video edit using Final Cut Pro 10 which is the reason why it's well worth subscribing to this YouTube channel if you are a Final Cut Pro 10 user. So thank you guys for watching this video give me a thumbs up if it's been interesting and has helped you don't forget to check out pixel film studios website so you can get yourself some free plugins there is a free section and it's well worth visiting and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay in tune with what's going on and don't miss a single thing because not only do i teach how to use Final Cut Pro 10 and other things, uh, uh, and how to create effects and transitions and so forth. I'm also giving you video knowledge daily. I upload daily to this channel, and this video right here was one of my daily uploads. So there you go. You've got a, a feel and a gist of the kind of videos that I upload. And yeah, this is basically it. <laughs> so uh, hit the subscribe button. Hope to see you soon in the next video. And let's see you down in the comment section. I'd love to get in touch with you guys and see how you're getting on with your video journey, either here on YouTube or within your businesses and so forth. Where do you use video? I'd like to know. And would you like to learn more about Final Cut Pro? Yeah, because that's why you're here. <laughs> see you soon in the next video, guys. And thank you for watching. So before we leave, let's have a look at some of the bloopers and mistakes that I've made while recording this video. A lot of these free plugins can be, no stop, um, a, on your Mac, stop, I mean, your Mac device, maybe you're going to learn, like, you know, food, and yeah, this is basically it. <laughs> More about Final Cut Pro, yeah, because that's why you're here. <laughs>